Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and today we're detailing and transforming a 1969 Datsun 1600 Roadster that was pulled out of a barn for the first time in 25 years. But here's the twist. This car is mine. Now pause. We need to take a second and rewind a bit back to last year. On Sunday, December 12th, I woke up at 3 a.m. and for some reason I went on Facebook Marketplace where I came across this Datsun. And as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I didn't care what condition it was in. I specifically bought this car just to make a video for you guys because I knew it would make an insane transformation and I wanted to do it for your entertainment. And the very next day, she became mine. The owner, Jay Seuss, brought it to me. We spoke for a while. He handed me the title and keys and I became the owner of my first vintage car on December 13th, 2021. And now it's January 31st of the next year. And as you can see, it's covered in snow and my job now is to get it out <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to be loading this thing up taking it to our shop and detailing it and i do want to mention that this car will be for sale when we're done i'll leave all that in the description below if you guys want to reach out to me personally and buy this car from me you will have the chance to do that um, but without any further ado i'm going to start getting all this snow away because it's going to take me quite a while oh Ugh. come on oh yeah uh. That didn't work. Live in Ohio, they said it'll be fun, they said. You know, this is coming along pretty well. What do you guys think if I quit WD detailing and start a whole new channel shoveling snow? Leave a comment below. I think this might be my forte. Oh my gosh, guys, you gotta see this. Check this out, ready? Oh, just a big piece of ice, dude. I know you guys wanna see me break it, so. That was sick. Now, after getting the car back to our shop, we were able to start taking some parts out to see the condition it was in, starting with taking the convertible top frame out then the seats, and what you'll see is that the entire frame underneath and the floor pans are completely rusted out, and there's a big hole where the driver's foot well is. So those will definitely need to be replaced by whoever buys it next. But I wanna hop into the question of the video, so leave your answers in the comments below. In its current condition, what do you guys think this car is worth? I'm not looking to make a big profit or anything, but the body is in decent shape. The engine and transmission we're not so sure about, but they are there, but it needs mechanical work, a full frame swap, a new convertible top, the interior needs to be reupholstered, and it needs new tires along with some other things depending on how far the next owner wants to take it. So leave your answers in the comments below. I'm curious what you guys think. Oh my goodness, Brent. Yeah. What? This has no floor. It's a good thing that I'm super tall. Jesus. Hey, 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 you're running the aesthetic. I'm sorry. Oh, God. It's <laughs> crushing my toe with this. It fits so snug in this. This is nice. <laughs> Let's go to the Dude, beach. Each? I would love to drive this car. <laughs> you want it? 50 bucks. What do, 50 we look bucks. Like? what do we look like from up there? <laughs> Honestly, pretty sick. Maybe. Dude, this thing's actually kind of cool. Dude, the seating position that you have compared to the one that I have, like, I, I, I'm pretty I comfy see in over there. the, Ugh. see over the windshield completely. Hey, that's the exhaust under your foot right there. That's cool. It's got a heated floor. That's good. <laughs> Excellent for the winter. <laughs> So after getting the seats out of the car, we were gonna start with the exterior, but we wanted to make sure we got all the leaves and the big stuff out of the inside first because there was no top in the car. So if everything got wet, it was just gonna be a hassle later on. So we went ahead and vacuumed all that and then we moved on to the outside of the car.
So after giving the car a good wash, we went ahead and covered it with an iron fallout remover which took all the rusted iron out of the paint and then we clay barred the entire car just to get it completely prepped for the polishing stage. And when we rinsed the car off, if you look at the ground, you can see all the purple streaks which is the iron that was removed and it's pretty satisfying to see just knowing that that paint is completely clean. And then for the polishing stage, we used a Rupes buffer with Meguiar's 210. And after getting the car polished, we went ahead and covered the entire thing with Colonite 845 by hand. We let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and then we wiped it off.
and I can't even believe this happened, but because the car had no carpet in it, there were still some attached to the bottom of the seat that we had to pull off, and I've never seen this before, but it was kind of funny seeing that one little piece hanging on for dear life.